Hey guys, Crystal Thompson here. I am in the gorgeous Makers Gonna Learn studio. We are creating masking with your Cricut, doing some gorgeous images. We're gonna die cut these with the Cricut. We're gonna put them on our cardstock and then ink above them to create the masking, remove it, and you're gonna have a beautiful image. So let's get started. You are going to need some black cardstock, white cardstock, and ink, and this is not particularly, you can use any ink you like. I'm using the Ranger Distress Oxides in Cracked Pistachio. We're gonna be using Seedless Preserves, which is a gorgeous, uh, great color. These lids don't do justice to the colors. And do Broken China, which is blue. And then last but not least, we picked Raspberry. This is a gorgeous pink. You're also gonna be using, this is only optional, a removable, temporary adhesive and this is going to hold down and you'll see the difference i'm going to show you with it and without it see what you like the best also going to need a blender this is made for cards but honestly you can get this on amazon or anywhere as one of those makeup brushes and it just makes it easier and we're also going to be using a water brush so we're just a brush with a little bit of water to just flicker because it creates a different effect on the paper so we're going to begin by getting our file and this is a uh, mistletoe but it's showing as a 118 we are going to actually cut this out on our Cricut depending what size you're wanting it so this is um, I don't know about five inches or so and it's just really pretty and then I also went ahead and did a hello my suggestion is that you do a bigger hello because it's going to be easier to mask it and then do the color blending around it. All right, once you have cut that on your Cricut, we are going to begin by placing our images on our card. So, so this is a four and a half by five, four and a quarter by five and a half card base that has been pre-scored and cut and ready to go. We are going to begin by placing the mistletoe. And like I said, if you wanna use some temporary adhesive, you are welcome to. So I'm gonna show you how to do it with temporary adhesive and then how to freehand it. And it's up to you. There is no right or wrong way to do this. Just add a couple drops. There is liquid temporary adhesive that you can get. You can get this anywhere. Michael's, Joann's, your favorite craft store. Okay, I'm gonna place that down. And that just kind of frees up so you can blend over and then we're gonna we're gonna do this separately but that's the way it would look once it's finished we're gonna go ahead and grab our ink pads gonna remove all the lids and get them ready to go okay And I want to say when you're using just one blender, have a piece of a uh, paper towel or something to be able to just wipe it off. All right, we're going to begin by really grabbing some of this color so we can saturate our cardstock. So you're going to work on that. We got it. And then we're going to dab down. And to really make it faster, you can move over to a different part of your card and dab down. And then once we're done with the dabbing, we're gonna blend to create that soft blurry effect. This kind of ended up looking like a, what is that technique, Bo bokeh, bokeh? So, and because I do have temporary adhesive, you see how it's not moving makes it really nice. Don't blend too hard though, it will move. See, there we go. All right, we're gonna clean off our brush. We're gonna move on to the next color. We're gonna be use picked raspberry. And you can use any ink pad in your stash. These just blend so nicely. And when you have those itty bitty pieces, it's kind of hard to blend in, that's why we dab and it creates a, a really nice dark color. And if it moves, that's okay. Those little guys, the thin pieces, is really difficult to blend over, so we just really have to dab. All right, gonna remove all that color, move on to our cracked 
pistachio. And the more you saturate your brush, the easier it will be to dab on and to blend those colors. Okay, clean that off. And we're gonna move on to the broken china. This is beautiful, rich blue. And there's this little piece, so I'm gonna dab first instead of blending. You don't have to use black, it's just for contrast and the purposes of making the video and showing you guys it's easier to use the black because it does grab all the color from the ink pad. And then feel free to blend. Look what a pretty color those two create. All right. And then we're gonna do the edges. My suggestion, ooh, here, I'm gonna get in trouble. There we go. My suggestion is to use a piece of uh, white printer paper, keep your surfaces clean, and then before you remove the masking, do all your color blending. It just makes it easier and you don't end up like wiping over your clean piece. All right, here comes the removal of the masking and look how pretty that is. And the bright colors just really pop up. All right, now we're gonna move on to the sentiment. So I'm gonna show you how to do this without the temporary adhesive. So I have my hello. This is gonna take a lot of holding on to. So we're gonna do this in stages. We're gonna do the end, then the center, and then the edge. And you just really wanna hold on to it. So I think it's easier when we have the temporary adhesive. And if you have liquid, it makes it even easier when you have these curves and shapes to your words. This is a Maker's Gonna Learn font. And now that there's a ton of new fonts, you have so many options. See, they're pretty. So you just gotta really hold on to that. We're gonna clean off our brush. Let's move on to this green. This is a really easy card. Okay, so those L's really stand out. And we're just gonna dab first gonna move on to the seedless preserves. I'm gonna clean off our brush again. I'm gonna go on to the other side and hold on to it. Dab. So when you are not using temp adhesive, you really wanna dab before you blend. I like to do color families. So if you're doing some, when using the same brush, you know, do your, your reds or your pinks all together. Makes it easier than having to get a new brush or cleaning the brush every time. Then move on to your, your blue color family. All right, we're gonna remove that masking to see the difference between the two adhesives, but it's still really pretty. We're gonna grab our water brush and you can just use a regular brush and put water on it. It's just easier to travel with and we're gonna Flick. And the distress oxides are going to react to the water and you're going to have a beautiful little flickers that really look nice without having to add a ton of embellishments that adds dimension to your projects. Okay, we're going to let that dry. You can see how it's reacting to the water. And that does it. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to mask using images from the Maker's Gonna Learn and your Cricut. Thanks so much. Have a good day.